Right, how's it going? I uh, went to the mountains the other day and took a, a bunch of shots. I figured I uh, did some HDR as well, so I, I figured I'd go over that with you, kind of show you my workflow on how I do those using the Photomatic software. So uh, let me just show you a few shots first. Uh, this is up in the Smoky Mountains. This is Newfound Gap. The sun was rising. Pretty nice shots. These are all uh, unedited DNGs with the Pentax system, K70 with... Um, 20 to 40 limited and the 55 to 300 PLM lens. You see there, really nice straight out of camera stuff. And uh, Pentax does a pretty good job with the dyna dynamic range as well. But sometimes it just doesn't cover it all. So this is an HDR that I've already put together, but I hadn't edited. I just dropped it in the software. I do a little bit of Lightroom editing after that. So here's some of the shots from it. Um, so, as you notice here, this is a straight shot. If you notice, I put five together to do a, an HDR. You notice the sky here, it's all just blown out. So this is what the camera thinks is an acceptable, acceptable exposure, and it's not. There's just too much brightness and darkness going on, so it tries to find the middle ground, and this is what it comes up with. Um, that's why you, if you're doing something like this, it has just huge amount of darks and lights you want to shoot in raw um, so the camera will take five pictures that's how I had it set up uh, I have a video showing you how to set up your camera if you want to do an HDR so notice this one this shot the second shot it takes is a little darker and notice the sky over here stands out a little bit more and then uh, you'll get a, a brighter shot and that will make the these trees here that were were dark kind of stick out and then the last one or no, there's one more after this, but this the last one is just has uh, makes the sky stand out like it should, and then we'll have the completely overexposed shot. Um, you notice here, I kind of you have to kind of watch your settings. I did these handheld. You should use a tripod, but I was lazy. Um, you notice these trees over here look a little soft. So if you look at this, the Pentax has a image stabilization system but if you look here yeah it was at one second so i know personally that all i could do is about half a second because i'm not very stable with my hands and plus it was morning i probably had some coffee so um it's a little motion blur there so anyway i'm going to go ahead and use this one anyway i think it might be okay with all the other pictures uh, the software might still make it a little bit crispy crispy sharpness let's see let's go ahead and do this we're going to throw these into photomatics here let me go down here find where they were uh, all right so i took five images so i'll take those five and i'm just going to throw them in this photomatics software here now i've had this photomatics software for a long time there's newer versions of it but this is as far as they've let me go i'm on 5.1 uh, i think there's two more versions of it or whatnot but I'll, I'll leave a link to it below you can uh, try out the trial i think they put watermarks on if you try it but it's a decent software i spent a hundred dollars on it so i'm trying to get all the money i can out of it there's other ways to do hdr this is just my way i'm kind of showing you how i do it so um i, I shot this handheld as i said so i'm going to leave that and it's going to try to auto align all this these five images and it'll take a second um depending on your computer but it's, it's not too bad and you can do them in batches if you have if you, if you have several so look at there right off the bat it you can see how it just overlaid everything and exposed it a lot lot better than any of those shots and make sure editing go down quite a bit so i use this and then i throw it over into lightroom and do the touch-ups in there but as you can see it looks a lot better kind of looks slightly washed out but we could kind of fix that in lightroom um but yeah i like this software just because it's super easy to use and uh yeah and it's got all these all these uh, presets on the side, tons, tons to choose from. 
So I'll, I'll just go over a few of those right now. Basically what I do is I just use one of these presets and kind of adjust it a little bit if I need to. So this is what it came up with off the bat. Um, if we hit default, the, the ones I usually use are these top top four because you can get pretty crazy if you go down farther but I'll, as I'll show you here in a second so yeah, this looks pretty nice just right out off the bat there's some of uh, things I could do in Lightroom to make it kind of pop just a little bit more but um, overall it's pretty good you go down to the next one you see it looks a little darker a little contrast here it's just kind of what your style what, you, what you're kind of looking for and I kind of look at these and 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 see ask myself how much extra work I'm gonna have to do in Lightroom because I don't like to edit quite that much but I'll show you my Lightroom uh, after this so yeah that's just overblown and not very good natural this kind of looks bleh compared to the other ones you could get super crazy in here with these paintery type deals as I'll show you here it just kind of exaggerates everything like way way and then you have these lighting effects over here that just get super crazy now if you like this kind of stuff um just look up here you can see all it's so process so much processing going on it just adds so much grain to it and just it's not my thing but if if you want to get crazy and you could do that but uh there's actually some really cool ones down here that i've, I've used quite a bit if you want to get it all ansel adams it's got these black and whites look at that that looks pretty good just needs a little bit more uh yeah, a little bit more exposure and it would be be good but yeah it has some decent ones down there and you can play with these um the lighting effects on these as well and it kind of just gives you different different options some of them are good some of them are bad it all depends on what 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 the subject is so anyway we're just going to go back up here and i think that just the straight up default was pretty good yeah, I think I'm liking that. I'll, I'll click on these lighting effects and see if it has anything, anything good there. Does that do anything? Let me click that off. See. Yeah, I don't. It didn't didn't do too much for me. So I'm just gonna leave it right here, and that's it. So I, I basically didn't do anything. I just used a preset in here, and then I'm gonna flip it into Lightroom. So. Uh, let's hit apply here. And I'll put it all together, and you could do touch-ups in here as well. But I, like I said, I just like throwing it over into Lightroom. So I'm just going to hit done here, and we're going to hit file and save image as. And you, uh, with this particular version, uh, they might have different other options. They used to have a in previous versions they did have where you could kick it straight over to Lightroom, like an export into Lightroom. It broke, and it might be fixed now, but uh, anyway. Uh, we've got these different options, JPEGs and two different TIFFs. I'm gonna do the 16-bit TIFF for the largest file, and just hit save there. And so, now we're gonna go over into Lightroom, and we'll show you what we're going to do in there. All right, we've got it pulled into Lightroom here. You can see it's uh, already pulling together pretty nicely. So um, if you notice here, these trees are still a little bit dark, even though we put it in an HDR program. So you could bring some of those out a little bit by bringing up your shadows. And then um, you can kind of adjust the highlights if you need be. I'm going to turn those down a little bit just to get that sky a little bit more pop. And there's a, that's the thing with some of these programs, the, the colors don't quite look right. They kind of look a little bit off or look a little bit kind of drowned. So I'm going to add a little bit of vibrance just to kind of get them going a little bit. Um, there's not a lot I do in there after the, the, the Photomax program does, does quite a bit of good stuff. So adjust my black level here. Let's see. As you adjust these two, it gets a little bit. Uh, get to watch your exposure. One thing I do like to add is a little clarity. Um, what that does is it it adds a little bit of contrast, but it 
it almost looks like it sharpens it a little bit by adding that contrast. So I'll just add a little bit there. It's got a little dark, like I said, if once you start adding that stuff. So bring that up a little bit. That almost looks a little bit too too overdone there in the sky. So I'll add a filter here and kind of maybe take that down a little bit. Take that. Uh, Take that saturation down just a little bit. Don't want too much, but there we go. Hmm, looking decent so far. So you could use this little thing over here to see the difference. You can see it's got a little bit more pop, and that's all I, I want to do is just add a little, a little bit more pop to it. I think we're good. Just very basic. I'm not doing anything like really hard to do or anything. It's very, very easy steps here. Yeah, so I think I like that. I think that's the uh, final product. I probably could spend some more time with it, but I don't like to do a ton of edits. I just like to make it pop a little bit. So I think it does look a little bit better there. You've got a little bit more contrasty, a little bit more pop to it. So. That's what I like to do, and it's pretty close. I always like uh, getting photos to close to what I saw with my eye, and this is pretty close what what it looked like. It was it was magical out there, beautiful sunrise coming up, very awesome. Go uh, Newfound Gap. It's out up close to uh, Clemens Dome in the Smoky Mountains. Go check it out. Make sure to get up there early morning and catch a beautiful sunrise like this. Thanks for watching. Go ahead and subscribe.